Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. So today we are making some chain plates or backing plates for the front cleats on the sailboat. So I got a piece of fourth of an inch by one and a fourth bar stainless steel. And then I measured where I wanted them and I cut them. And then I used the grinding wheel there and I kind of rounded the edges and made them smooth. So next what we have to do <clears throat> is drill the holes for the bolts. So it's a fourth of an inch. We're going to go over here to the drill press. I already have my clamp and everything and I have the bit. So we're going to get it in and then we'll drill these holes. So let me get this in the clamp. And everything's set up and I'll be back and I'll show you when we drill the holes. Alright, we are back. So here we go. Alright, we have <clears throat> our first hole drilled. But as you can see, apparently I did not have the drill bit in tight enough so at least we got the first hole drilled so I'm gonna get the drill bit re into the chuck here and then we'll get the other one done all right we are back so I have everything lined up and it's time to do the second one Right, the drill bit stayed on that time. So, that's one. I've got one more to go. So I'm gonna get that done and then I'll come back once we're up on the boat and I'll show you what it looks like when we put them in. All right, everybody, we are back. So, we're up on the boat now and it is time to reattach the cleats after making the new backing plates before there was just a little piece of oak in there and it had rotted away so this is much more beefy setup and it'll keep us where we want to be so i filled in the holes with epoxy so then if they do leak that it won't ever get into the core so first thing i got to do is re-drill the holes so as you can see this one was quite bigger I don't know if it was because it was loose and the old screw had, or the person before when they drilled it or what but we got it all filled in and we're good to go now so I'm gonna get the holes drilled and I'll be back all right we got our holes drilled so now <laughs> I checked everything already and it fits nicely. So next we're gonna get our butyl tape here and I'm gonna cover around the bottom there and then also up here for the top of the screw. It's always better to overdo it and not have it leak than to underdo it and have it leak. So I'm gonna get that done and then it should be on. And I'll show you what it looks like underneath with the backing plate. I'll be back. All right, so we have it on. I have the, hey, let me get the camera better. We have it all on and secure. There's some of the masking tape from when I did the epoxy. So it is solid before it wiggled. Now this thing ain't going nowhere. Well, unless the front of the boat rips off. And then, if that happens, I'm definitely having a bigger problem than worrying about the cleat being loose. So, next to do this one. I'm going to get the holes drilled and get it on. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like from the inside again. Alright, we are back. 
so I have the other one on. One thing to note that I found is the stock wires go behind the cleat and it rubbed on one of the bolts and the wire was frayed. So I'm going to end up putting in a waterproof splice there. But it's just something people might want to be aware of and check on your own boat if you're having any electrical issues up front. So these cleats are solid. So if you guys have any questions about how I made the backing plates in the comments below or in the description below, I'll leave a link to the strap steel that I used. And also hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out. And if you'd like to check out our Patreon, it's in the description below. I'll see you guys later.